All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out the Rich Chalenza Show. So this is something that came to me, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to ever post this or upload it, but it it just kind of hit me not long ago. And what I want to call the podcast is, Why Can't We Make Things Better Instead of Worse? I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk about this actually for 10 minutes or what I'm going to say regarding this at this point in time. It was kind of off the cuff. But what I do want to express is I realized that a lot of people, in my opinion, instead of really making things better, truly make them worse. And I don't know why we do that, especially when we know things are kind of going south. Instead of saying, hey, let me step in here and really just either try to, you know, take a different perspective where it's going to start heading into a better direction that can go for you know at home in relationships for instance it could go for at work it can go for many different things it can even go for like uh, I guess you could say when you see other people having conversations and you can see they're starting to get upset and you just keep going harder and harder and you just kind of go to the point where you just You know you're hurting their feelings possibly. You're trying to make them feel stupid. You're trying to make them feel like uh, their opinions are always wrong. You know, I don't know why we have to do that to one another. And I get we all argue. So let's, let's not be ridiculous. We all have our opinions. And I'm not trying to say not to voice your opinion. So let me make that clear. But I do think sometimes there does come a point. And I've realized this later better than, or not better than, but I've learned this later in life because I was one of those when I was younger, I think to a certain degree. And that could be even in, in nightclubs when I get in a lot of, you know, you start getting in arguments, then you get in a fight and then you, before you know it, you get arrested. And there's all these, these things that start happening when you just, you could have walked away. You could have just shut up. You could have uh, done so many other things not to lead to something even worse. But for some reason, something triggered in me to keep making things worse. I don't know if I wanted the drama. I don't know if I wanted the attention. But for me, I had to finally address that, actually a long time ago. I finally said, it's my behavior that sucks. I've discussed that a lot on my podcast is people just aren't self-aware of their behavior. And they do stupid things that lead to something else even worse. And then their behavior leads to something worse. And before you know it, they end up in a horrific position when they didn't even need to keep going with it. Now, if you're on drugs and alcohol and all that shit, hey, you want to blame it on that? But I think a lot of people just in general just aren't realizing what they're saying, they're doing, how they're treating other people, especially the ones they love. It seems like a lot of times I've realized too is the ones we hurt or we want to lash out at or badger, verbally abuse, are the ones closest to us. And I also understand that a lot of the ones closest to us aggravate us the most because we're with them the most. I get that as well. But, you know, if you start to look at yourself, and this is what I've had to do lately, is just having more patience with a lot of people. Believe me, I'm not always patient with everyone. But for the most part, I think I've see when things are going down and they're going to get, you know, they're escalating. And I'm usually pretty good now at kind of calming things down. I just was out with my friends for dinner. A bunch of us went out to dinner this weekend. And uh, we're all at one of our favorite Italian restaurants. And uh, we were all there. And one of my friends, the waiter, kept forgetting to get his drink. Not, a, not only that, he kept forgetting to fill his glass with water. And he asked them like three times. Now, he was getting really hot. He even grabbed the glass and slammed it on the table. And he's my buddy from Brooklyn and stuff. So he's, and I haven't seen him this upset. In the old days, he was upset all the time. But now he's very social and wonderful. And I very quickly had to like get a hold of him and say, hey, let's cool down. I got, we got it. Let's get, and then I went and talked and we, you know, it kind of calmed down. Now, in the old days, I think if I would have got pissed off, like if he's not getting his drink and truthfully, he was kind of blowing us off. But like he wasn't getting the drinks or doing, and he was busy. I get it. He was in the weeds. I'm not just sticking up for the server, but it was true. He was busy, but you can't blow things three times, right? Just saying. So my point being, I would have got pissed, just as pissed as as him regarding my drink. And before you know it, now we're 
going to get in a beef and then it escalates and who knows what's going to happen next, right? With this waiter, who knows what we're both going to say. Now we're like two junkyard dogs. And I saw this recently too, where we were downtown at one of our favorite pizza joints and my whole family was there and we had somebody walk in, first of all, screaming from the outside. And then he came in the restaurant and me and that same buddy from Brooklyn looked at each other like, are we going to have to throw him out physically? Because he started saying things. It started, sounded threatening a little bit. But I told him to calm down. Then he's looking at me. He's like, are you going to get nuts? He thought I was going to get crazy. I thought he was going to get crazy. And we were both very calm. And then the waitress grabbed the guy, actually, and then escorted him out. And then we were kind of watching it. And then he left. Again, if you went 10, 20, probably years ago, and somebody came in and talked that shit to us, it would have, it would have been bad. Again, I'm just saying this because the behavior, but taking something that like, just kind of letting things escalate. Again, taking something, you know, bad and making it worse instead of better. Now, I'm not telling anybody to get, sit down and let people take advantage of them, scream at them, uh, do any of those things, just so we're clear. That's, whatever you do in your life is on you. But in this case, I just wanted to say, you know, maybe you go through these things and especially if you're younger, because I know a lot of my guys are younger and we all make bad decisions, I think. But if you could just take a few minutes to think about what my next move is, what am I going to say next? Is it going to help or hurt? All right. And again, that doesn't mean you're not going to say things or be sarcastic, uh, not stick up for yourself or any of those things. But I do think a lot of things or a lot of things, I should say a lot of, a lot of bad things, I think some, sometimes could be prevented by just paying attention to those things, even if you are drinking or doing drugs or whatever the case may be, kind of, and it's hard to do when you're like you're smashed or, you know, you're zooted out. But the reality is, man, a lot of things that may end up going wrong can be game changers and it can change your life or alter it for the rest of your life. You could say or do something to somebody where it escalates, where you could get hurt really bad. Uh, You could also do something where you end up in jail. It can also ruin a relationship. I remember I was dating somebody at one time and I didn't care what I say. I kind of still don't to a certain degree, but I don't want to escalate things to get worse. But she screamed at me, you know, words mean a lot. And I always kind of like words kind of meant nothing to me. It was like something I could yell at somebody, they yell at me and five minutes later we're all chill and I don't give a shit because it wasn't like you could really... I don't know why you could scream and yell at me, make fun of me, all these things. And it was just something I'm always looking at someone going, oh, they're venting. Like, who cares? Oh, they had a bad day. I didn't take a lot of things very personal. But when I was talking to her and saying these things, she took them very personal. You know, words meant a lot or mean a lot to her. And it was something I had to really think about. So I just thought I would do a podcast on that because I don't think a lot of times we do realize how our words do impact others, especially if you're in relationships, uh, married or dating somebody, also to your kids, uh, to your parents, your coworkers, all those things, just pay attention to it. And really, and I'm not telling you to like give roses when someone's <laughs> treating you like an asshole again, but I do think sometimes we, we want to retaliate and we do have to think, is the argument or the retaliation a lot of times worth it? Is it worth your time? And most of the time, I don't think it is a lot of times. If you want to prove yourself a lot of times, instead of screaming or yelling or fighting even, you know, kind of let your actions kind of speak for yourself. And I know you've probably heard that throughout your entire life, but if you're letting others constantly aggravate you or frustrate you, where you're constantly, you know, in a position where things escalate for you being in a bad position, because I've been there where... I kept blaming others because of the positions I ended up in. That's on me a lot of times. I don't need to give them the power to do that to me. So anyways, I'm going to wrap it up there. You got any questions or comments, just hit me up. You can check me out on richcholenza.com or uh, masteringselfconfidence.com. I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all over the place. So uh, that's all I got for you. Take care and I wish you nothing but the best.